Good morning, Gladville. Good morning, Gladville. That is right. Um, we are back. Well, well, this is our final um, Welcome to Plathville podcast because it's the season finale. Which I feel like it should have probably finished up around uh, episode four. <laughs> Okay, here's my thing. It's the most compelling, boring TV show on all of television. It's it's one of those things where it's so good, you, it's so bad that you can't turn it off. You know what I mean? So it's good. Right, because you're like, is this real? How is this happening? Yeah, pretty and much. Then I'm on all kinds of Facebook groups and I want to know more of like their whole story. Yeah, and I love reading everyone's hot takes. It's like, this family is absurd. Like, you know, Olivia is the devil. Okay, she's amazing, but last night at the finale, again, if they had edited it differently, like, I think this show has so much potential. For sure. But it needs to be a half an hour, super tightly edited, and get to more, and it needs more drama. Or, like, start with the drama. Like, all they yes. were doing in the beginning is just, like, going to college meetings. I'm like, start with the birthday party drama, and then get to, like, the lesser like the college. Stuff. Yes. And, and repair. Like, there's no yes. resolution. There's no resolution. I Ever. think they're leaving you on a cliffhanger for season two, but I don't know if they're gonna <laughs> season two. Okay. Uh, so we are the nation's premier Welcome to Plathville <laughs> podcast. I love that. We are the world's premier. We are. Uh, I'm Sarah, your host, along with AJ. Um, so normally we host a comedy and pop culture podcast and one that um, oftentimes it seems as though we haven't taken our Adderall because it's way off the rails. <laughs> Um, but this one is just a welcome to Plathville, kind of all the inside scoop, right. and obviously spoiler alerts because we talk about everything that happened. So last night was the finale. AJ, give us a synopsis of basically what went down last night on the hour episode. I think the most important thing was the birthday party for Mariah that was surprised that no one knew about except for Olivia and Ethan. So they kind of made uh, Olivia the bad villain of the show, if you will, which is surprising because all along we loved her. She was like, she's fighting for Mariah's rights. You know, she was watching over her. All right, and there you go. See, now there was a good plot twist that had a lot of potential. Olivia right. was, at the beginning of this show, Welcome to Plathville, was the one that was saving the children, if you will. <laughs> introducing yeah. them, introducing her husband to a margarita. Yes. Like, introducing the kids to, like, music aside from Christian. She was really, like, trying to help them. Last night, though, they end up pulling a whole bunch of shenanigans, and it was complete BS. And I actually, for once, was on Kim's side. Like, I was, I was on the parents' side. I was like, you know what? If And here's why I feel like it's staged. Because if that was real, those parents, why wouldn't you walk out of that dinner? Literally, 16 years of keeping your daughter in a Christian, super clean environment, and all of a sudden it's just ruined over one restaurant dinner? I, if I was Kim, I would have flipped the table, pulled a Teresa Giudice, and I would have walked and stormed right out of there. Kim and Barry, yeah, needed to... <clears throat> oh. um, what else so, happened? Well, at the dinner, okay, so one... Olivia and Ethan planned this surprise birthday party for Mariah. Do not tell the parents. Don't tell any of the siblings, including Lydia. Lydia seems to drive everyone bananas. And she's, like, uber annoying because she does all the cleaning for 11 people. And she just looks like um, Little House on the Prairie. I mean, yes, it's little women. thing. Little women, Little House on the Prairie. She's completely a Disney character, the, the stepsister that they abuse. And, like, she's down on the floor scrubbing the floors, you know? Right. So they throw this surprise birthday party. On top of that, they buy her Carrie Underwood tickets. No one else gets her a gift because Kim and Barry and the family didn't know it was a party. And, and they also they all don't know who Carrie Underwood is. So Barry's <laughs> complaining. Who's this Carrie Underwood? Yeah, who's no. Carrie Underwood? I don't. We're not too keen on country music. I know because they talk about sex and drinking. And I don't want to encourage Mariah or any of my children to partake in any of those activities. Barry, your wife was a crack whore like 10 years ago. All right, get over it. Then uh, also the other big thing, this is where this is where I'm done with the show. Like I want the show to improve because at the end, Ethan and Olivia go, oh, surprise once more. And Mariah announces that she's going to see her grandparents in Minnesota and they've bought the tickets and she doesn't know when she'll be back because it's a one-way ticket. Bitch, you are about to have your ass grounded grounded because she, she would have turned 17 right right which she's still not legal you have to be 18 and i don't know why they bought a one-way ticket olivia really is bringing her to go fo photograph a wedding out there and they just so happens that the grandparents live there so they're like oh we'll make it a whole family trip of it and well here's why i do think there'll be a season two because allegedly mariah is currently living in minnesota and is emancipated from the family that is what blogs are saying blogs are saying there's been articles written about it which is like um, so the whole, the entire season two is just going to be Mariah's emancipation <laughs> and Barry just being like, who the fuck 
is Carrie Underwood. I think they're just gonna go to Minnesota and try to find her. Well, again, I hope that the the show, because also at the start, Micah is doing a low-end boutique uh, in Jacksonville, Florida shoot with Marsha Dahl, and he's late. Today is my first modeling paid gig. It's for a clothing store, and I'm late. We love Marsha Dahl. Marsha's like, I want Marsha. Yeah. It's his first his first entire gig and he's late. What is this? This is not showbiz. It is his first photo shoot. Not making a very good impression right now. I mean, Marsha, they need to spin off with Marsha Dahl, Micah, Ethan and Olivia, Mariah, and then Kim and Barry, but Kim needs to go off the rails, like go off the rat wagon and go back to her college days when yes. she was like doing drugs and drinking and driving. Yes. Like that would be a show. And we got a little hint of that throughout the season, but this episode specifically, because we go see Mariah see the college campus and uh, they're, ta they're mentioning sororities and the mom is like, God, I remember those days. That's not what sororities are about. You know, the school is trying to spew this idea that sororities are about community service. And the mom is like, that's bullshit. We had a philanthropy, but I remember getting wasted and waking up in an open field completely blacked out of my mind. And you're like, and that's where Kim's past <laughs> why, lies. Why don't they ever go into, like, what drugs they did, right. how many people they had sex with? Like, that would make me inspired by Kim. Like, right. I understand Kim slightly better now. Yes. But also... I did feel in that scene, because Mariah, they go to visit a college right. in Florida, and um, I felt for that because they're giving, they're getting a tour, and they're saying to Mariah, yeah, so, you know, you did, like, you can apply for a scholar. <coughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. <Ooh>. Sorry, <laughs> you did you apply for a scholarship? <laughs> Let me get back to it. She applied for a scholarship, <laughs> and um, or they, they offer you. They're like, you should apply for a scholarship because the mom is like, you'll go broke if you apply for college in the car. She's right. scaring Mariah. And then of course they get to school and they're like, you can get grants, you can get scholarships. Did you play sports? You can get this, you can get that. And Mariah's sitting there, and I agreed with Mariah. I thought, what a disservice the parents right. have done. Like they seem anti-education. They don't inform her that she can apply for scholarships, loans, defer. Like. How awful. I, I felt for Mariah. I can see how there's resentment towards Kim. Right. And I, at the end of the episode, Kim kind of turns me back on her side because she says she was really just trying to protect the kids and have them with a, growing up in a happy upbringing. And her and both Barry had tremendous school loans. So I think she thought that that was such a hardship for them and she was trying to prevent that. But they're definitely, they don't give their kids any freedom to make their own decisions. What drives me bonkers about Kim and Barry is that it's so obvious like they need therapy, which hopefully they'll get a therapist in there on right. season two. But I'm like, yes. you, got, you and Barry, all your fears, all your mistakes, you guys are just trying to overprotect and smother these damn kids. And then they're just rebelling. Like, Micah yeah. is driving to his modeling shoot at 120 miles an hour. He's, He's like, like, don't tell mom and dad. And they're like, you just did. <laughs> He's like, oh, man. I did 120 today. No, never. No, I'm already right did that. <laughs> you just did. <sighs> <laughs> These kids. And, and then you meet the kids because they're just so oblivious. They're so oblivious, but it's really not their fault. That's just, I mean, oh, God. I, 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 I was speechless. Um, the, the, me too, sister. Like, the show, again, I actually thought of all the episodes, the season finale had the most drawn, like, the most interesting layers. The other right. episodes I could have done without. I mean, it was just super slow, and I feel like they've done everything in reverse. Like, the season finale should have been episode one, and then, like... And then they could have been unwrapping it the entire yes, season. Yes! Right, yes. It could have been I gone from, agree. like, boom, bomb goes off, right. and then five episodes to, like, uh, get everything Uncover together. the dirt. I do agree with that. Um, okay, also people that listen to this podcast, you guys can follow us on social media. It's at Hey Frage. It's at Andrea Lopez Comedy. That's Instagram. On YouTube, it's just Hey Frage, H-E-Y-F-R-A-S-E, -E, whereas you're probably watching this there or listening. Um, so people that have gotten into our podcast episode have suggested that we, and I'm joined, um, join the Facebook group, Welcome to Plathville Uncensored. It's Love that. hysterical. Um, people share all their feelings, and here were some of people's reactions from the season finale. This has gotta be so good, because people go off on Facebook. People go off on Facebook, um, and before I even do that, it is true that their house, that um, Barry and Kim's house is on Airbnb for $100 a night. And it's she's, so cheap. It's a nine bedroom house, right? <laughs> it's a mansion. Nine, but it sleeps nine. It oh, okay, sleeps okay. nine. Oh wait, is this where they have literally two bunk beds in the room, so we're all sharing one yes. bedroom? Nine guests, three bedrooms, three, 
three bedrooms, three beds, one bath. Kim is a super host. Super hosts are experienced, highly rated hosts who are committed to providing great stays for guests. $100 a night and people are suggesting we do a GoFundMe and go spend the night there. I 100% will. Do we get to do the farm work too? Like picking up the dung, bringing the haystacks around? I'll do that. They have the pictures on Airbnb and I'm going to be honest with you, there ain't one animal in sat. Like, it almost seems as though they've removed the animals. Okay, well, see, what I want to do is round up the cattle with Micah. And has Kim, you know, have they blowtorched? I mean, you know, Jesus they, Christ, <laughs> that path is just, I mean, that looks That's like Chernobyl. Driveway. What the fuck? <laughs> the trees are barren. The driveway has pots and holes and rattling pots. If they could get a leaf blower and rattle out them pots and Spanish moths, that would be helpful. I mean, that looks like a desolate little driveway there. I'm not going down that. Desolate. Oh, I love this. What is the uh, cover photo? It's Barry. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you so raw only is the Facebook group you need to follow. It'll also tell you the, that'll be the first place to find out if this show is renewed, but the cover photo is Barry. And then it lists all the parents, Barry and all the children's ages, Ethan and Olivia over 21, Hosanna 20 and Timothy. They're out. They, they're not even on the show anymore. Mike is 18. Mariah is 17. Lydia is 15. And then who cares about the other ones? Um, <laughs> um, but people are definitely weighing in. The mother is a controlling nut. This is from Sonia. She talks about modesty and makes the girls wear dresses and her pants and t-shirts are so tight. Is it do as I say, not as I do? Mariah hasn't had a shot at going to college because they won't pay for it. And since she was a homeschooled, uh, she can't even get a scholarship. Who's that is really, really sad. Oh, and I love that we were talking about this earlier is that the, the mom tries to defend her and say, well, she has, you know, exposure to being in a band and playing the uh, trombone. And, you know, <laughs> that's, that's, life, that's, that's life skills. I'm like, um, no, it ain't. She needs to be in school council. <laughs> yes. She needs to be on the volleyball team. I mean, girl, you should have given yourself a run for class president. Even if you lose, bitch, you can write about how you lost the campaign. Exactly. And how the, the uh, your stamina to withstand the loss. You know what I mean? You can just make up all this shit on your college essay. Uh, Carol, last comment, says, I don't like or agree with the way that the parents brought up this family, but I do not like Olivia. I find her toxic. Mariah will have a huge wake-up call in life, and Ethan is very sweet. So let's open up that discussion of how Olivia kind of just butted in, didn't tell anybody about the surprise birthday. The mom, Kim, is like, uh, well, I would have brought presents for Mariah, and now it's just Olivia the Savior bringing her Carrie Underwood presents. I kind of would have been pissed about that. I'm also going to say this. I find it a little creepy how Olivia is like, has such a liking to Mariah. She like does. She was holding her hand at the table. I find it a little much. Right. Because, and like, almost like, to me, Olivia spoils her kind of like you would someone you're dating. Carrie Underwood tickets, right. San Francisco booked the Minnesota. It's just like, right. A little Meanwhile, much. Meanwhile, Olivia's at the other side of the table, the 15 year old. She she can't even get a, a, an, an eye roll from Olivia. I like, mean, poor thing is looking around for the Windex. She's right. <laughs> it's been like an hour since she's right. Cleaning. She's having PTSD. She needs to clean again. Like, I feel so bad. Um, for people that don't know, AJ is a also world premiere impressionist. She's been on NBC's Bring the Funny. Um, she does an amazing Paris Hilton, Courtney Kardashian. I think you're the best Courtney Kardashian impressionist in all the land. Oh, thank you. Do a Courtney, but I think too we should end today's episode with like some scenarios where you have to. It's almost like can AJ impersonate this, and we'll just I'm just gonna throw out characters, and then you do your best impression of them. Okay. So show us like a little Kourtney Kardashian first. You guys, I'm so done with keeping up with the Kardashians. I just want to be a mom. I'm just like not on the same pages as my sisters. And I feel like I just need to leave the show and I don't care what happens to my sisters. Love it. And that's Kourtney. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. Ethan and Olivia, we obviously learned this season. They're just married and they live together. Give us a little Ethan being surprised by Olivia or trying something for the first time. Well, I think in the last episode, you guys witnessed me trying my first Coke. It was good. Last night, <laughs> Olivia surprised me with a bra and undie set <laughs> that she purchased from a store called Victoria's Secrets, I believe. And I liked it. <laughs> I had never seen nothing like that before, so that was cool. I, I didn't know what to do with it, but I took it off. <laughs> and then we went to sleep. It was fun. 
Oh, God. Give us an impression of Mariah, first day of college. I just feel like my mom has kind of left me with nothing. I can't even apply for a scholarship because I've been in a band and I've been wearing dresses. Like, I'm on a farm my whole life. I just, I want to have sex and drink. (laughs) And I want to touch a penis. Like, I just feel like I don't know how I'm going to be able to do that. Barry having sex with Kim. Oh, shit. Is it? Is that the home? <laughs> Jesus Christ, you're so loose after getting off these nine babies. I can't even find the damn hole, Kim. Look, we only got five minutes before the kids hear us. The bedroom's right next door. Come on, Kim. Barry, stop! Ah! 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 Oh, my God. Those were the best. You need to follow her on Instagram for more of that. You guys, we hope you enjoyed it. Season finale, we'll keep you posted if there is a season two and we will bring you every single episode, the rundown. Um, in the meantime, subscribe and turn on your notifications on YouTube at Hate Free. Um, we'll see you guys on the Hate Free podcast, new episodes Monday and Wednesday. Bye guys! Bye everybody!